Hey church, I'm uh, Keith. I'm the missions director here at Audacious Church and uh, I'm excited to be joining you for devotions today and in this time of prayer and fasting. Hope it's going well. Uh, by my count, this should be day 17, which is uh, almost near the finish line. So hang in there. I'm uh, excited to hear all the stories of what God has done, have been doing, how the church has grown uh, and the miracles we've seen as we've uh, made space for prayer and fasting. So really excited about that. And uh, I just want to look at a little passage as we're praying today uh, and remind you of the passage in Matthew chapter 16, 13 to 20. It's where Peter confesses Christ. And um, lots of people have been talking about who Jesus was and what he was about. And Jesus said to his disciples and said to Peter, who do you say I am? Uh, and Pete responds with this, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus replies back to him, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by man, but by my father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter and on this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not overcome it. And um, I just, I just really like this kind of clarity of who Peter was and where he was at and what Jesus could do with someone who has had that revelation and total understanding of who Jesus is and given lordship over to him and it's on that rock that Jesus said I'll build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail and and the reality is Jesus wants to build his church now Jesus is building his church now uh, and we get to be a part of it um, but as we make him Lord, um, and as people see us making him Lord in our life, that is what is going to win them um, to faith. And so we're really believing that as we make him Lord uh, and live that out in our everyday life and reach the people that are, uh, God's put in our world, uh, the people we work with, our family, our neighbours, uh, the parents on the school run, uh, all these connections that God's put, but as we live a life um, submitted in lordship to Jesus Christ, um, then that foundation allows us to share faith and see the church grow. And not even the gates of hell can come against um, Jesus building his church in that way. So I want us to pray um, for for outreach, really, and for mission and seeing people get saved. And on that that basis of lordship that we can actually see um, our churches grow. Um, so a couple of things for you to pray for. I want us to pray for just just for the people in our world who don't know Jesus yet. Um, like I said, it could be your family members that you've um, been praying for previously. It could be your neighbours, work colleagues. Let's pray for salvation. Let's push in. Uh, and believe that God is going to bring that moment of revelation that's not revealed by man, but is actually revealed by God. So we really want to pray for that. Um, we also really want to pray for our Easter services that are coming up uh, in a couple of weeks' time, uh, where we're going to have big gospel presentations in all our campuses, uh, believing for mass invitation, loads of people to come, loads of people to find faith for the first time. It's a great opportunity. Pray that the church will be engaged in inviting and bringing, uh, that people will come in off the street, that people will see adverts, that people will just be prompted by the Holy Spirit to come and hear the gospel and make a response uh, and see their lives change. So let's believe for that over the, the Easter services, which will be amazing. Uh, and also, uh, I'd like us just to pray for our missions trips that are coming up. We've got a few missions trips coming up um, in the next month or so, we're going to uh, a mission in Chester, a mission in Poland and a mission to Rwanda. And I uh, just really want to pray that those going on the mission are blessed and stretched and equipped. Um, but more importantly, that the local church that we're partnering with in all these places, our Chester campus, uh, the church in Krakow and the church in Chabatanzi village in Rwanda, that the church will be built there and the gates of hell will not prevail against um, his church there, that there'll be salvation, there'll be miracles, there'll just be an incredible growth uh, in those churches as we have some targeted mission uh, coming up. So let's pray into those things. Let's keep going. Let's keep believing for God, for Jesus to build his church. 
Amen.